What's going on guys? It's Celtic Pride. Welcome to another installment of my wishlist series and today we're going to talk about something really special and dear to my heart. That is my player creation slash customization. And this is really important to me because I'm the type of person, I'm very visual. Um, in real life I enjoy different types of clothing, different types of shoes. And, you know, this might not matter to a lot of people that are really concerned about, you know, obviously more important things like gameplay. But to me, you know, this stuff actually matters quite a bit. So I'm going to, in a way, just show you what would what I think would be ideal for um, my player. Not only customization of the my player, but also the accessories that you see on them when you game at the park anywhere. So... Um, yeah, guys, let's get right into that. I'm gonna start of course on NBA 2k16 like I usually do and then we'll begin to move over Into the other games so that you guys can get a taste of what I'm looking for From those other games to be put into NBA 2k16 So let's get there guys. See you then All right, so I'm sure most of you know what this is. This is the NBA 2k16 my player creation page now, if you look at your player right here, just starting out, guys, you are going to see that there is actually a weight category, a height category. You know, it looks like it's really in-depth. Now, I'm going to show you guys something that is, I don't know, I've just been really bothered by it. I think it's only been in the past few 2Ks, but um, it doesn't matter how heavy I make my player. He's going to look exactly the same regardless. Like this guy can be 6'3", 225. That's, uh, that's more than Marcus Smart-esque right there. And he still has a very slight, small, tiny frame. And I think that should be way more customizable than it is. There should be, there could be really skinny, like a la Brandon Ingram, or there could be really fat. Or, you know, not not necessarily fat. Not too many NBA players are fat. But if you look at Kendrick Perkins right now, he's put on a few pounds. He's a little overweight. But I think there should be different body types just so that our players look different. And I think weight should also affect ratings. And I'm going to talk about that later in the video. But let's go on. And we're going to hop on to NBA Live, surprisingly. And I'm going to show you guys some things that I think 2K can implement to make the My Player creation a lot deeper. Alright fellas, here we are on NBA Live and as you guys can see, I am hovering over the main topic point right here. Body types. Guys, this is this would be invaluable for 2K. I feel like it would make people look so different. Like, check this out. They're super skinny, you know, like there's that Brandon Ingram that I was talking about. There's the really lanky, smaller guys. There's more of an average build, and then as you see, they get a little more muscular, a little bit more, you know, have a little bit more bulk to them, and then as you can see, then there's a bulked out guy. Now, this isn't necessarily, um, you know, it doesn't really factor in weight. As you can see, the only thing that grows is the muscle mass, but still, at the same time, this would be absolutely amazing because this would change the game, I feel like. Like, if the body types mattered... I feel like people would actually look different, you know, no matter what the weight, you know, if the bruisers want to, you know, have bruiser and raise their weight, they're going to be a little more clunky and not be able to like slide into these little holes that the skinnier guys will be able to, right? I don't know. I think that's just a good thing that could be thrown into 2K and would help very, very easily. So maybe that's just um what I was trying to get at here, but I feel like that'd be really, really awesome. Now let's get over to the head and I want to show you guys just a really quick thing is this app. The face scan app for NBA Live is pretty, pretty nice. This this guy somewhat resembles me, not completely, but I mean, he's got some of the same features as I do in real life. And it's really cool to see someone that kind of looks like you, kind of, sort of, but you know, as you can see, like, you know, you can kind of see where the face stops and where the generic player starts but there's not really an exact skin color match for um, my skin tone I guess in NBA live but um, it's really cool I really like how it looks and um, hopefully 2k can get something 
for the app that they can just throw someone's face on and it'll be really, really easy so that we don't have to try to get our hands on some kind of connect or get our hands on some type of, um, um, how would I say it, a PlayStation camera, you know, just in order to get our faces in the game. So I think that's something really cool that should be implemented. And now, guys, we are going to totally switch things up. We're going to hop on FIFA 16. And I'm going to show you guys how weight affects the players and the different types of players that you can have in the game. All right, guys, here we are taking a look at FIFA 16. Now, you guys probably don't know too much about the game. You know, most of you, so... I'm not really going to talk too much about it, but I'm just going to show you guys how, you know, in a sense, essentially the caps change, not only as height changes, as I'll show you guys right here, you can see as I change my height, you know, the, the stats do move in different directions. So that's, that's really, really important, you know, when you're creating a player, but height also helps just like it does in NBA 2K. So, you know, 2K has that part down. Now what they don't have down is the weight. Now, as you guys are going to see, I can bring that weight down, but the, you know, the more I bring it down, you know, it's going to start to change. And then you see right here, this is what 2K needs. As I go from 178 to 181 at five foot nine, you see, I'm, I can't be lean anymore. I became, I became average, you know, the stats changed as well. And, you know, they'll continue to do so at certain thresholds, depending on the type of player you have, and also depending on your height. And I think that'd be a welcome addition to NBA 2K17, you know, so that when our weight changes, you know, we could, you know, the guys that weigh more, of course, are going to be stronger. They're going to be able to play bully ball a little bit more. And, you know, that would give them an advantage, but they would also lose, you know, some quickness that the guys that are a little more skinny would be able to take advantage of. I think that would just help balance the game overall because now the guys that, you know, are 225 pounds at 6'3", like I just showed you, they look exactly the same as the guys, you know, that aren't. So I think that would, you know, just make a whole world of difference into NBA 2K6, NBA 2K17, excuse me. And now we're just going to wrap it up very, very quickly. We're going to talk about customization. And we're going to go back to NBA 2K16 so we can take a look at the player store and, you know, see what it has to offer in comparison to other games. All right, guys, so I noticed the video was getting just a little bit long. So what I decided to do is I'm going to cut the shoe part of the video into a different part. So let me just call it here, guys. Thanks for sticking around watching the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.